Adding a contact is nice and easy. So when you log into agent.kdb.com, you're going to click on the little icon for contacts. From here, we're going to click add a contact. Now this is going to give you the short form, so just some simple things like full name, email address, phone number, and then you add more information. So I will start with, how about a test? So how about I add Sally Smithers? And then I'm going to add sally at gmail.com as the email address. By the way, you can add a relationship now. This is brand new. So I can add a spouse, father, mother, son, brother, siblings, all these different things. So I'll add a spouse and we'll call it Will Smithers as the person and create a new relationship. So now that person has been added and they will show up as a contact. I'm able to add their phone number. So I'll just put in a number here. If they're a lead, you can check this box. Now a lead is gonna be someone you haven't talked to yet. So if I got this name from someone I didn't know and it was a lead from Zillow or someone I met at an open house and we haven't built a relationship yet, they're a lead until I know what they're looking to buy or sell. I also can get this as a shortcut to eventually add it and create an opportunity. So if you check this box, it's gonna take you to opportunities. And right now, if you have both of these checked, it may not work the way you need to, they're working on that as well. So that eventually you can. So it needs to be a contact, not a lead, in order to add to the sales pipeline. You've got your tags here. So this is gonna be some pre-made tags. So you'll see things like associate and buyer and different things here. Some of these will be pre-made and system tags. And the others I created. So creating a tag is easy. Let's just say I wanted to create a tag for the referral source of um, June referral right? Maybe that's my client or someone there and I get an option to create a custom tag. So when I click that here, I can choose a color. I'll make it yellow and add. And now that tag is something I can use over and over again. And the simple definition of tags is they are just grouping together my contacts and I can have multiple of these. I've already created one for test, so I'm going to add that as well. So I know to delete this contact later since it is a test one. Add more information. This is where you're going to get to the additional information. So under additional, I can choose what's their preferred method. If it's a lead, I don't know yet. If I call them, they say, hey Jay, I want information, just text me. Great, I'm gonna choose text. If I know an additional email address, like maybe I wanna add the husband's address, I can add that here, so will at gmail.com. I can add any additional phone numbers, so if I wanna add his as well, I know we created a contact for him. This is just another way to put more information and choose what numbers you want. Address, if I choose an address, it'll come in here. So I'm gonna put in an address in my area. And what's neat is if it auto populates the address below, this is coming from Google. So you want to link it. So if I choose this one here in Fort Lauderdale, it's now linked. And when it creates the contact, Kelly is going to auto tag the neighborhood for me. If this is also the mailing address, you can check this box here. So if I send any mailing to them, it would be to that address. And if they have more than one address, Click here to add an address and choose the other sources. If it's other, rentals, work, if you want to have other for previous addresses, you can put that in as well as a way to remind yourself. I've got social profiles. If I put my social media links here, it will already have the facebook.com. So let's just say it was me and I put in just her Mac there. That would then link to my profile if you know what their username is. All the sources are here as well. That might take you some time, but it's just a way to have a shortcut to it. And the neat thing is if you run ads on Facebook and I have the Facebook URL, I have the ability now to target my Facebook ads to my Facebook friends. Under about, this is going to be the thing like legal name. Maybe it's their full legal name with the initials or if they have a nickname, you give it as their main name, right? And legal name would go here. Description. This isn't meant to be their biography, right? What's a little description about this client, right? Referred to me by my neighbor, Sally, as a way for me to remember they have two kids and a dog. Great. If you know what their birthday is, you can add that. So I'll just say January 1st. I don't have to put a year or I can choose the year. Home anniversary, well, they haven't bought or sold yet. Relationships, so I've already added spouse up at the top. This will eventually be linked in, and I know they're working on those things. So this is my ability to also add more relationships. So if I wanted to also add like mother is Sally, Sally, create new relationships, and then that will add that person there. If you know what their work, you can add that as well. So then I've got the option here for sales pipeline. So this is a captured would be a lead. 
And connected would be, I've already met with them or connected with them, right? I've had contact. So you can use these if you want. You don't have to use them. Lead source. So this is always tricky. It looks like it's a short list. There are thousands of lead sources today. So if you actually just start typing something in like open house, I'll find it in the list. If I type in things like Zillow, I'll find it in the list. If I say things like Brivity, that's not here yet. So that'll be coming soon. And eventually you're going to be able to create your own lead sources. So I'll just do one as referral because I've already done my tag up above. Choose referral as the source. And custom is your ability to create your own custom fields that you don't have. So under settings, in the upper right hand corner, I can actually come in here and create my own custom fields of data I want to collect. So the difference between a tag and a custom field is a custom field is going to be more information that you want to collect. So I look at it as the custom field is a question, right? Like, hey, I need to ask more questions. Do they have a dog? Um, what's their favorite sports team? What's their favorite pie if I do those pies, right? Um, do they have an RV? Do they have kids? What are those things I might want to add as data to collect? And if it's grouping things together, that's when I would do the tags to group it together for marketing pieces and things like that. So that's it. That's how you can create a contact. I'm going to hit create here and it is going to take me back to the screen and now it's in the system. And if I look up Sally, I can see all my different Sally and I will do uh, Smithers. Here's Sally Smithers. There's my tags. When I click on Sally, here's the information. So I have enough to get a high health score. I can also mark it as lead here. So if you didn't do it as a lead and say, oh, I forgot. Checking this box, mark it as an L and tells you it's a lead so you visually can see it fast and unchecking it just says, okay, I've made contact. You've got your information down below. You've got your lead source. Owner is me, captured. Neighborhoods, it auto tagged the neighborhood for me. So I didn't have to do that. And this allows me to be able to add it to a smart plan faster because it's already tagged their local neighborhood. And I've got the ability to add neighborhoods and see what's nearby. All the information I collected is on the left, the additional information, their home address, any descriptions about them, birthdays, and any information down below for background information. And on the right hand side will be everything else. So that's how you create a contact. Thanks for watching this video. Check out my other videos for more things to do in command. We're going to keep these conversations going and I hope you take command of your database. For more great videos around command and technology and leadership, be sure to follow me on KW Connect today.